real talk now. <coughs> hmm. I have to drink for real talk. Um, we are robotizing our work production. What does it mean? That robots are taking uh, the the jobs or more like the tasks that humans had to do. So what would um, an alien think? Like, like someone um, that isn't part of the economics system. They would say like, that's really good because then you can just stay at home and do nothing and uh, you would do this, the economy would still work. Right? And it may make sense. Like we could literally have robots doing our job so that we don't have to go to, to, to work. But that's not what happen what's happening in our world. In our world. In our world, we get robots that are doing our jobs, our tasks. And instead of us staying home, we then have to do a different uh, work. Where would we get money? The robots would make us money. That's the thing. Like, the economics would work exactly the same. But instead of us making money for ourselves, the robots would make money for us and we would get paid like a living wage just for existing, just for staying at home. Like, and that's the perfect society. But what's the problem? The problem is that we don't take robots as a way to libera liberate ourselves from, uh, from having to go to work. The so, so instead of thinking like, this robot will allow me to stay at home and not work, we are like, uh, we, we, our, our thoughts are, this robot will make it so that I can work the same and the robot, uh, wait, no, no I, I am, I'm phrasing it this wrong. The robot basically is increasing our uh, benefit. So we are still going to work, and the robot is also going to work. So basically, we are doubling our um, our workforce. So we are uh, making twice as much money. The problem is that the robot part of the money goes to the top of the company, to the people that already are rich, and the ones that are in the bottom jobs gain the same as before the robotization. So basically, uh, the, the all commands have a cooldown. Uh, thank you for thank you for uh, for stopping by, Andy, and, and thank you for, for so much for the lurk, and thank you for being here as well, Horty. Uh, I I guess it didn't make any sense at all to you, and that's fine. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, so yeah, basically, the only ones benefiting from the automation and the robotization are the ones that get the money from that extra production but the ones that are on the bottom lines on the on the you know the the, the bottom of the work chain they basically still have to go to work and they don't benefit at all from the robot like the, the ones gaining money are the the top ones so instead if the robots would literally make our jobs and we would be able to stay at home and and uh, gain like um I don't know how it's called, but like there is this salary that they have tested in Germany, Finland and uh, some other places where you just get paid a certain amount of money just for existing, like as a base uh, base uh, salary. So if everyone got this base salary and we stayed at home and the robots would like uh, make our economy like function, we would literally be like so happy but instead we have to like still go to work so that the top ones benefit from double the production <laughs> so yeah uh the automation and robotization is really good but the problem is that currently only the top five percent benefit from that anyways end of uh, end of real talk 
<laughs> yeah, instead we go to work and be sad. Exactly. And the robots also go to work, they don't get sad. And uh, the production is double, but only the top uh, ranks of the companies benefit from it. Okay, that's it. I basically made a rant for free. Uh, some jobs cannot be done by robots, that's of course true. Uh, or not yet. One day I think everything will be uh, possible to be done by robots. Uh, you work in a call center answering questions. Well, I whenever I call a call center, I already get... Uh, <laughs> I already get attended by a robot, so we are halfway there. And I work as a web developer where I design web pages, and it's also halfway there because uh, machine learning has progressed to the point where there are basically uh, AIs that are able to program at an almost uh, as good level as a human. So, yeah. Robots can get sad. I have read uh, uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide, yeah. I have read it. Uh, Marvin truly was a sad robot. And... Uh, <laughs> indeed. Have you read uh, Terry Pratchett, Horty? I know uh, Muffy has, has read it. So anyways, let's get back to, <laughs> to this uh, project. Uh, it's, uh, it's almost noon here, so I need to go soon. Uh, so let's divide by colors. <coughs> hmm, depressed Marvin noises indeed. 